especially uh, in areas like northwest Syria, Idlib, and also uh, to try to help find accountability for war crimes committed by the Syrian government's officials. Uh, but none of these are going to bring peace to Syria. Uh, we should be honest about it. The Americans cannot bring peace uh, to Syria. When you talk about ceasefires, for the Americans, the most important ceasefires are in northwest Syria and northeast Syria. Uh, and the Americans support these things, but of course other countries, including Turkey and Russia and the Syrian government, have a big role. It is not only an American question. So I think we should be clear. I do not think the Biden administration has a realistic hope that the American policy can compel, can force Iran to withdraw all its forces from Syria. That was an idea, a hope, in the previous Donald Trump administration, but the Biden administration is more realistic. Uh, the Iranians are not going to withdraw all of their forces from Syria. It is interesting that the number one country which is attacking Iran and Syria is not the United States, it is Israel. Of course the Americans support uh, the Israeli air attacks against Iranian positions. Uh, there was another one yesterday. But the Americans do not think Iran will withdraw all its forces from Syria. Uh, will fighting in Syria affect the negotiations in Geneva about the Iran nuclear program? I doubt it. Uh, the Iranians are very sophisticated and they understand that you can negotiate one problem even while you continue to argue and even fight in another different area. I think the Americans understand that Iran is going to have a role in Iraq and Iran is going to have a role in Syria. But the Americans do not want uh, the Iranian presence in Syria to be a threat against neighboring countries such as Israel or Jordan or Turkey. Uh, the Americans also understand that Iran is going to have a presence and a relationship with Iraq, but the Americans want the final deciders, the final uh, officials who make decisions about policy in Iraq to be Iraqi officials and not Iranians. Policy about Iraq is made by Iraqis in Iraq and not by Iranian Revolutionary Guards in Tehran. So earlier this morning here at the forum in Dohuk there was a discussion uh, about the American policy in Afghanistan and the American withdrawal. Uh, one of the speakers, an American, said that the American policy in Afghanistan could never succeed, could never succeed, because the American strategy depended on a strong Afghan partner, and the Afghan partner was never strong. Too much corruption and too many problems. The Russians uh, can criticize the American withdrawal. Uh, Russia criticizes many American policies, but what constructive ideas can any country make? Russia. China, Pakistan, Iran, 
or the United States, what constructive new ideas can they find to help Afghanistan in the future? That is a bigger question. So among your viewers, uh, people who are older, like me, will remember when the United States did not have big army forces on the ground in the Middle East. I am talking about the time before Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in 1990. Before that, the American military was not very present in the Middle East. We will probably see in the next years uh, the Americans work more closely with allies in the region, including Kurdish regional government and including the Iraq federal government in Baghdad, as well as in other countries in the Gulf region, Jordan, Israel, and I hope uh, someday Turkey uh, that can provide stability without having to depend immediately on the American army. Well, as I said before, the Americans are continuing an assistance program with the Peshmerga. Uh, we have a long history of cooperation with the Peshmerga. I first came to Iraq in 2003 uh, during the time of the Paul Bremer coalition administration and we had cooperation with the Peshmerga then and it has continued ever since. Uh, I don't think that cooperation will end. I think it will continue. Uh, but I think also the Americans want to reduce their role in Iraq's defense and give more and more and more responsibility to Iraqi security forces, including uh, a role for the Peshmerga in the Kurdish region. Sinjar is a complicated question. There are many different Iraqi and international uh, countries and states and uh, militias involved. The PKK, for example, is involved. The Iraqi security forces from Baghdad are involved. The Kurdish region government has an interest in Sinjar. Uh, there are the Yazidi community itself who live in the area. They too have an interest. Uh, and other communities near Sinjar have an interest. So the important thing to understand is that in the time of the Biden administration, the Americans will leave this more to Iraqis from the Iraq Kurdish region and Iraqis from other parts of Iraq to find the answers. It will be a very different kind of American approach from what you saw 10 or 15 years ago. It was my pleasure. Source Spots.